Hey, it's for Marie, and welcome to a festive Friday Sews. This is episode 33, another crafty Christmas special. So what I'm sharing today would be perfect for a manicurist, a gift for anybody who loves nail art, nail polish, a salon owner, and it's a simple wall quilt and it's pretty easy to construct. Now this is not the entire quilt, it's uh, a work in progress, but if you are a sewist then you can sew straight lines and straight stitches. If you are a beginner quilter this would be a breeze because the shapes are really just as you can see rectangular. So this quilt wall quilt is actually a free PDF pattern and it is through the Fat Quarter Shop and the lovely um, Kimberly Jolly uh, has actually a really great tutorial on how to make this. So not only do you have the pattern, it's free, it's a great gift and there's a really great tutorial to use as a guide. So let's take a look at what I have so far. So basically with your download, you're going to get the cutting instructions as well as the dimensions of what you need or the, I should say, the measurements. So um, right now I have pretty much constructed the nail polish bottle with the uh, twist top and just the the background and all I need left for this quilt wall quilt mini wall quilt I should say is a well the backing which you will only need one yard of fabric so the fabric that I chose that I thought would tie in beautifully, I've been hoarding this, but I think it's perfect for this quilt, is uh, K Facets. This is um, Horse Chestnut. It's called Horse Chestnut from Free Spirit Line. So I think this is gonna be perfect for the back, but I also think that I am going to use this. I need two vertical strips let me get this out of the way. I had originally cut these vertical strips that would go on either side of this wall quilt. And these measure, let's see, these would be the two and a half by 18 inch rectangles. And then the tops would be two and a half by 14 and a half inch rectangles. So I had this kind of chambray Actually, it looks like my measurements might be off. I started this a while ago and then kind of abandoned the project and then came across it when I was looking in my unfinished um, bin for, you know, gift ideas and, and let's, you know, use what we're starting. But anyway, this is okay because I can go back and recut these strips. It's not like a big deal to me. Also, I found some tilde fabric that I actually like even better. So I'm, I'm not too stressed about these not being an exact measurement because I think that this would be even cuter. But back to these strips, I might use these for something else, possibly maybe making some binding because I think that I wanna tie in the back uh, with this as well. So I'm, I'm leaning on making those strips, the side strips uh, with this. What do you guys think? So it would look like that and then it would be all tied in in the back. Too busy or would it work? I don't know. I think Kay Facet might approve. I don't think any of the 
quilts that he has would he consider to be too busy. So I visited Bath, England this summer and I had the opportunity, I actually stumbled upon Cave Facet, uh, a quilt exhibit in the art gallery, it's called Victoria Art Gallery. And this exhibit featured 23 large new quilts that ties in with Facet's forthcoming book called Timeless Themes. So I included the artists and quilters names paired with the quilt in some of the pictures. I don't know if I got them in all of the photos. Yes, we were allowed to take photos uh, and it was a wonderful and unexpected experience. So I hope that you enjoy this bonus and uh, yeah, happy holidays to you.